What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today I am still at CES 2024 in Las Vegas, so shooting this from my hotel room. But you guys know the Samsung updates do not stop. And we have a brand new Samsung update for you guys to go over today. Samsung added a very nice feature to one of their core apps. And we'll talk about that in this video. Before we get started, I want to thank my son Jonathan. I've got the Ankylosaurus and the Stegosaurus hanging out with me here in Vegas. He gave me something to take on my trip to CES. We always appreciate him for having some dinosaurs or animals to hang out in the videos with us. And also want to remind you guys, if you guys are interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so with my partners over at Mint Mobile. Right now, Mint Mobile once again has an amazing offer. Right now, you can get any of their plans for just $15 a month, which is an amazing savings uh, on their unlimited plan, their 15 gig and 20 gig plans. Uh, they have four different plans, as you guys know, a five gig plan, which is usually 15 a month. The 15 gig plan, which is usually 20 a month, but right now, due to this offer, is 15 a month. Uh, 20 gigs a month for 25 a month usually, but now it's 15 a month, so you're saving 10 a month there. And the best deal right now is the unlimited plan, because it's usually 30 a month. You get that for $15 a month for a limited time. This is a limited time offer um, with you know some of the promos they offer. They always are, so you want to act soon if you want to get in on this. All their plans come with limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. I've been using them in the Phoenix area for quite a while now, over a year, almost a year and a half now, and we love the service, me and my family. Um, the other great thing is you can get either a physical SIM or if you're traveling, you can't get a physical SIM sent because you're not at home. Uh, you can get them to send you an eSIM, something like that. If you're um, traveling you know, around the country, no problem. You can go ahead and activate that. You'll get an email with the eSIM, scan the QR code, and you're on your way. Anyway, if you guys want to get in it, you can try my link right here. It's trymintmobile.com slash springer to get on this limited time offer. Uh, get that unlimited plan for 15 months. It's a great deal. Uh, trymintmobile.com slash springer will also be in the pinned comment description if you want to check it out. We do appreciate Mint Mobile for being partners on the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about it. New update rolled out, and it rolled out to the uh, Samsung Calendar application. So we haven't seen an update for Calendar in a while. There's the Samsung Calendar. You know, I have two calendars because, of course, I sometimes switch between the Google Calendar and Samsung Calendar just so I can do reviews of both apps for you guys. Uh, and so if you search for Samsung Calendar in the uh, Galaxy Store, you'll see here the new update. 12.5.01.26. December 26th it rolled out, but this update was greatly delayed. Uh, I know some people in certain regions received it around just after Christmas. I didn't get this update until two days ago. I got to CES on Sunday night and I checked it, I think Monday morning, because it was a crazy drive up here and I had this update waiting. I've been waiting on it for a while because I saw some of the cool new features that were in there. So anyway, 5.178 megabytes, should have it now on your S23, your S22 Ultra, and also probably the Fold and the Flip, the new versions. What's new? Event alert background screen customization. So this is basically very similar, well not similar, it's exactly to uh, the Reminders app. Got this uh, customization feature that you can customize your alerts background with different gradient colors uh, or customized photos that you want. So for full screen alerts, you don't have to look at just whatever that solid color is that Samsung has always chosen to put there. You can customize something that looks nice. Uh, sticker usability enhancement, so they've made it easier to use stickers on the actual events. As far as I can tell, this is basically just, you know, how the st sticker placement works. It doesn't really add any new stickers. Um, and then the last one, which actually is a pretty substantial change, the last one's actually the most substantial, that is the calendar style settings preview screen. It makes it way easier to customize your Samsung calendar. So if we go into the calendar application here and uh, go to settings, first of all, you go to the, the side menu here, and there's a settings cog. You'll see right up here at the top now, you have this big little option here that shows you a preview like of your calendar with some stickers and some other calendar features. And you can tap on this to change calendar style. Now the thing is, none of these options are really new. They were just all buried in like mundane text, boring text menus in the old version of the calendar. So it was kind of hard for people to figure out what all of these different customization options do. But now, since you have this little preview at the top, you can change stuff, like you can change the text size to be larger or smaller, and you immediately see it right at the top, it immediately shows up. And the one I like the most, because honestly, when I first saw this change back a year ago or so in the calendar, they added very muted, muted, bright, and very bright. They added some new color options. Some of the differences between them was hard to see without having a preview window interacting in real time, but now, you know, you can change between these and you can kind of see very easily what the color green is gonna look like on the calendar. So you don't have to wonder like, you know, am I gonna like the very bright, change it, and then go look at the calendar on the main calendar window and come back. Uh, and then down here, it also gives you the ability to 
Let Event Titles Wrap, Dark Mode, which of course matches the phone setting, font size, and uh, Highlight Short Events. What this does, by the way, is if you don't know, in the month view, it shows color bands on events that last less than a day. So I actually do like having this feature enabled. So I'm gonna turn that back on. So this is really nice because it improves the usability and you can actually kind of see how everything's going to look as you change these options, particularly the color profiles, is something that I really like. Now, like I said, all these other optional informations, things like that, pretty much the same as they were before. Now, the other thing is down here, they've added now the customized alert background. So of course, uh, if you choose alert type and you choose a strong alert, which is the full screen, or the medium alert, which is a full screen, then you're going to get the default full screen alert background, which is this color right here. So if you have a Samsung phone in the last few years and you've gotten an alert, you had you know something like that set, it automatically is going to show you this. But now you have some different color gradients you can choose from. So you can see all the different color gradients that are optional here that can be chosen. You can actually play with those a little bit and kind of see what you, what you prefer to use. But you can also choose a background from your photos. So you see, I've got a bunch of photos that I've taken here in Vegas. This one's really nice. If you guys haven't seen it, go check out, uh, go check out my Twitter. I absolutely love this photo I took. Uh, it's from my, from my hotel room of the sphere and the Bellagio fountains and everything. So I think I will use that as my calendar alert background. So you can change it to any photo you want and use that as your background now for calendar as well as reminders and other apps like Alarm, etc. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is a pretty substantial update to the usability of calendars. Some really nice features. Of course, nothing groundbreaking, but since we cover every single Samsung update on here, not all of them can be groundbreaking, but we still love our software updates. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. Again, if you want to save some money on your wireless, go to trymintmobile.com slash Springer to sign up right now. All their plans are $15 a month for a limited time only. Go ahead and grab that deal. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.